Hi everyone, today's video I'll be showing you how I did a marble look using gel polishes and for the uh, other nails I used a gold chrome uh, for those. The products that I used are uh, several colors from the uh, LV May uh, gel paint line. I found these on eBay and I'll leave a link for them at the bottom. I used uh, black, this is for uh, doing the veins in that green color. Uh, slight. Uh, a little bit darker, kind of gave it a little more interest. Uh, dark green uh, for the darker parts, of course. And for the other nail, for, for this hand, I did, yeah, that's a bright yellow, but we'll tone that down as we put some of that brown in there. So don't be, uh, don't be shocked on that. Uh, I used, for the brown, I used Teddy Brown by First Gel. For the base color on this, for the lighter uh, background color, for the green, I used Moira Mint. This is a lovely, almost kind of a Tiffany color. Uh, this was a gift to me from Tracy from Wildside Nails uh, on Facebook. Thank you very, very much. I was wanting that one and she sent it to me uh, as a gift and thank you very much. For the gold chrome, I will be using uh, Mirror Gold by Daily Charm. However, uh, if you have a silver chrome, uh, any silver chrome uh, should work with this, especially one that allows some of the base color to come through. You can use a silver chrome over the yellow. And I simply used for the gold, uh, I did use the uh, yellow again as the base color for that. So again, um, this is really just your imagination on how you make this uh, marbled look. Uh, it's actually quite easy and quite fun, you know, once you get into doing the veins and, and making it, you know, look more like stone uh, or marble. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get my nails prepped here and then I will be right back. All right, now we have our uh, natural nail. I'm going to apply one thin coat of the yellow gel paint, the LV May. And this is actually on camera, I'm noticing here that it does come out more like a, a real kind of mustard, but there, there's a hint of a, of a orange base on this uh, in, uh, in person. So um, just be aware of that when you're ordering. So again, just a thin coat. This is a very thick pigment, uh, pigmented gel paint. So you don't need much. And again, don't go heavy handed on your base coat. Uh, the reason for this is when we add those darker spots and then when we add clear to kind of help spread that out uh, you do want some of that translucence to kind of come through if you want it to look like a natural looking stone so just do a nice thin coat just like that and now we're ready to add our brown Now for this, uh, I just use a random, it doesn't even have a name on it. It's just kind of a flat with a rounded uh, brush, uh, rounded uh, head on it uh, for this particular step here. Um, just dip it right into your paint if you need to kind of blot it a little bit. If you get too much there, I'm going to use my tile. And you're just going to place some random dark areas on your nail. I like to do the darker spot, the darker area of the spot towards the edge and kind of come out a little bit with it. Here. And I just touch that with my hand. All right, so just using a little bit of alcohol, we're going to take off that brown. And 
I wanted to clear, we're going to add clear here, and this is, the purpose of the clear is to kind of dot it around the edges of those brown areas, and it's going to cause the gel to spread, and it's going to cause, uh, it's going to look translucent. The thinnest top coat, I decided to use a top coat, the thinnest top coat I have is Gelish, so that's what I'm going to use. The thinner the gel, the more you're going to get a little bit of spread. Uh, with that clear. Just put some on my tile here. Again, we're just going to dip it into the clear. And we're just going to kind of dot it around those brown areas. You can add a little bit more or add a little less, whatever your desired effect is. All right, so once you get that where you would like it, uh, we're again, we're not curing at this point. We're going to take a small detail brush. In this case, it's my uh, Crystal Nails Zero Long. Very, very fine brush. And we're going to take some of the brown. I'm gonna load up the uh, Take it, swipe it through it, roll it, kind of load that up, and you're going to use just the tiniest, tiniest amount, and now you're going to start making the veins. In your gel here. You can add as dark or light as you like, thick or as thin as you like, whatever your look that you're going for. All right, got you zoomed in here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so once you have your veins the way that you like them, you're now ready to go ahead and cure that. So that's what I'll do and be right back. And there we have our cured nail and that's ready to top coat. Give that a cure and that nail is done. I'm gonna move on to our green stone nail here. All right, now we're ready to start our green nail. Base color is again Moira Mint. We'll take a thin coat. And again, we're not gonna cure. We're gonna go ahead with our dark green color. And again, just place random areas on your nail. Okay. 
And now we're ready to go ahead and add our clear. Again, just go along the outside of those spots, kind of pouncing it around there, around the edges. If you want to draw You go ahead and get those veins in there and again for this one I did a little bit of the black I just dipped my brush in there drew out about this much placed it on the tile and I'm going to do the same with the green just kind of add that make it a really deep dark green And if you want to thicken up the, uh, or sorry, loosen up that paint a little bit, because the paint is, the gel paint is a little bit thick, you can simply add a little bit of your clear to that, run it through a little bit. Draw your brush through. You don't want a whole lot left on the end of that brush to give it those fine veins. And now the fun part. All right, we'll go ahead and zoom in and start making our veins. All right, once you have your veins the way that you like them, once again, get, go ahead and cure that and top coat it, and there you would have your finished nail. So that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and cure this, get a top coat on it, and we'll be right back. All right, there is our finished nail, along with the first one out of the lamp. And as you can see, it's not at all a difficult process, very easy to do with the gel. Uh, manipulate it any way that you like. If you don't like the results, you can simply wipe it off and start over again. That's always the nice thing about gel. Now, I'm not going to show in this video, um, but you can certainly add embellishments to uh, your design. In, in this case, I used um, a um, gold circle that I put a, a uh, Swarovski in the center. I used a leaf shape uh, gem and then the small round studs uh, around the cuticle. thought that ended a nice touch. You can certainly do whatever design that you'd like. Uh, now on to the chrome nail. I know everybody's seen the chrome, um, but this is the first time that I'm showing the, uh, the rose gold chrome from Daily Charm. And I'm just going to get some gloves on here because that chrome will stick to my current manicure and I don't want that all over everything. So, get my gloves on here. And as I said in the beginning of the video, you don't need to get a specific gold chrome. Uh, you can get this look using any silver chrome and a yellow base. 
Uh, mustard yellow base is probably your best bet here. Let me get the uh, other nail that I've already finished here. All right, so in this case, I've already done a uh, yellow base with one coat of the uh, Accents Shine On uh, No Wipe Top Coat. And if you've dealt with Chrome before, you know that the No Wipe is pretty much a necessity. So let me get my nail on my stand here. Get a Chrome. And again, there's the gold chrome. Honestly, I'm not quite sure what, they don't give you a, a, a list of ingredients. I'm thinking it's simply the silver chrome mixed with a little bit of a gold pigment, possibly. Uh, it does result in a very, very nice, smooth uh, effect uh, for the gold chrome. And uh, so let me get my, uh, my applicator and then we'll get uh, started with the uh, application. All right, as always, um, a little goes a long way with the chromes. So here I have my uh, applicator brush, my little sponge applicator. And again, it's already been top coated with the uh, accents. Making sure I get all the stray particles of pigment. I don't want that showing up as little sparkles in the uh, top coat. And you can see how reflective that is. Beautiful gold, gold chrome. Now you're ready to top coat. Again, best to use a no wipe with any chromes. Getting low on my top coat here. Give that a good coat. Don't overbrush. When you're doing your own nails, I found it helpful to brush the cuticle with a small uh, art brush to take away any uh, excess pigment before I actually did the top coat. You don't want that brush picking up any stray particles and just uh, distributing them over the um, the uh, top of the nail and giving it a sparkly effect. You want a nice smooth chrome and we're going to go ahead and cure that and be right back. All right there we have our gold chrome out of the lamp. You can see very beautiful reflective finish on that and our two marble nails. So once again, you can see it's not hard to do. It's actually kind of fun once you start getting in and doing all those uh, veins for the uh, marble. Play around with your different color combinations. That's always a fun thing to do. As always, I will leave links to all the products that I used here. If you have any comments or questions for me, go ahead and leave them down at the bottom. I will try to get uh, back to you as soon as I can. As always, I do appreciate everyone's support. And until next time, I will see you guys later.